Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. And today I'm your host, Anita, and I'm going to go ahead and just me walk you through the secrets on how you can start to really shape your booty and shrink your waist, no matter your age, your genetics, or your fitness level. Welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. We're making it possible for busy women to sculpt and tone in just 15 minutes a day. It's either great for beginners or stackable for advanced. So whether you're looking for a women's complete home gym, or free routine for consistency, or full guided workouts in our app, we've got you covered to really unleash your empowered self and step back into your confidence. So you can visit our store, bootybands.com, and subscribe so you get notifications for every episode that drops every Sunday. I've been seeing this going through our accountability challenge girls, and it has been so phenomenal to see the inches that they are taking off their waist and the inches that they're putting on their booty, or if you're just wanting to tone up your booty, whatever your goals are. And it's been really awesome to see this. And I wanted to share with you some of the insights that they are doing that are proven across the board. What happens is the first thing as women, when we think of losing weight or losing inches, and we're going to talk about two things here. It's either I wanting to lose weight or there's some of us that actually want to gain weight. So I'm going to be talking about both today on today's podcast. So the first one is if we want to lose weight. So in our mind, we've been conditioned to think about calories burn as many calories and eat as little as calories. And that's just the thought in our mind that we think that's how we do it. However, what it has led to is the final conclusion that you're slowing your metabolism when you do that. Therefore it works, but then we gain it back. Have you ever been on that? Where you've lost some weight, then you gained it back, lost the weight, gained it back. And so when we find ourselves in these diet trends or fitness trends where we're on that up, down, up, down, we'll end up finding and really losing more of our confidence. We start to just go, it doesn't work for me, or we'll say it's just too hard or can't keep up, or we end up having maybe an injury or something like this that really makes it more complicated. But the great news is, is I'm going to share with you some insight on that can take away all of that. So the first step is to get rid of the idea of calories altogether. And here's how I'm going to help your brain do that. Not all calories are created equal. Some calories are going to be slowing down your metabolism and some calories are going to be speeding up your metabolism. And why do we care about metabolism? Because metabolism is what's going to help us get us to our goals. So if we're wanting that small waste, then we're going to want a fast metabolism. But we may have said to ourselves, well, I just naturally have a slow metabolism. Why? Because my friend can eat whatever she wants to eat, but for me, I can't. And the reality of that is you can actually speed your metabolism regardless, again, of your age, your genetics, or your fitness level. I'm seeing it time and time again. Um, I just had a girl sign up for the accountability program in the first week. She's already lost an inch and a half. And the only reason why we were able to do that is because she's focusing now on speeding her metabolism, not by counting calories. Okay. So here's where we know that not all calories are created equal. Let's go ahead and take a donut that's hundred calories. And let's say a protein salad is hundred calories. The trend that we were following before was just calories in calories out. So if we were only focusing on calories, of course, we're going to go to our favorite one, the donut, and we're going to skip out on the salad because they're both 100 calories. But I'm teaching you different. I'm gonna teach you that not all calories are created equal, because why? They offer different results. The donut for 100 calories is going to feed our fat. The protein salad is going to feed our muscle. So the second we switch our thought and stop thinking about calories, but instead we start thinking of feeding our muscle, then we're going to start speeding our metabolism. And what's so interesting is I get on these coaching calls. So anybody that buys anything from Booty Bands gets a free coaching call. Why? Because I want you to get to your goals. That's my ultimate purpose of why I do what I do is so that you can reach your goals and get rid of this $80 billion fitness industry mindset of calories and staying stuck in your goals. When people think of the metabolism and I ask them like in their body, like, what do you think the metabolism is? In your body right now, I want you to really think of it. What is the metabolism? And if you don't know that answer, 
as far as how to speed it up or how it's slowing down, if you don't know that answer, then I would say that's probably one of the biggest things that's really holding you back in your fitness goals. Because the second you know that, it will be so easy for you to keep the weight off or the weight on, whatever your goals are. Let me just give you the answer. So if you don't know, a lot of people, when they think of their metabolism and how it's either sped up or slowed down, they think, well, okay, maybe it's my hormones. Or I've heard so many things. I've heard maybe it's just uh, my bones. Or maybe it's, uh, I don't know, I've heard so many. <laughs> it's like so interesting what people come up with. When in reality, your metabolism is directly correlated to your muscle mass. So when we're younger, in our 20s, we have our most muscle mass because we've been able to grow and develop and we've been able to reach this height of muscle mass. And so we got a fast metabolism, which when we could eat a cake and not gain a pound, right? But now that we're in our 30s plus, what happens is that we've been losing three to 5% of our muscle mass every single decade. You and me and everybody. And so when we're losing that muscle, that's why we're losing the metabolism. But what happens when we start thinking about calories in, calories out, the first thing we start cutting is our protein. But if we didn't cut the protein and we started really keeping the protein in, that's when we start to shrink the waist and start to really shape the booty. Okay. And it's proven. <laughs> I can prove it to you. I can promise you. How about that? I can promise you that you'll start to shrink your waist and you can shape your booty exactly how you want. When we flip the thought of calories and we start to focus on speeding that metabolism. Okay. So it's as simple as this. To start speeding the metabolism, the first thing you want to do, the lowest hanging fruit is going to be getting protein in every meal and every snack. The first step. And that is pretty hard for people because they haven't been doing that. They've been skipping breakfast or they've been just grabbing things that's on the go that's just full of carbohydrates and sugar. And so my first challenge for you is just getting protein in every meal and every snack. And if you do that and you haven't been doing it, you're going to see immediate results. Immediate results. Okay. Um, now, same thing. And now if you are wanting to gain weight, and you're wanting to lose fat, but gain muscle. All right. So same concept. You're going to be protein deficient already. I can already tell you there's not one woman I've met that has enough protein in her diet. We need anywhere from 0.7 to one gram per pound of our body weight. And it's very difficult for me to even do. And so sometimes we get in this thought of, oh, I'm going to be eating too much protein. I'm not sure who told you that, but we want to make sure that we're actually really knowing how much protein we need in our body. So most women I speak to, they're only eating a few times in a day. They're skipping breakfast usually, and they're maybe getting two meals and maybe a snack in. And so maybe they're only eating two or three times a day. And every once in a while, they're getting protein in. I would say you're extremely protein deficient. And therefore, you're slowing down your metabolism without even realizing it. So if you don't know, the biggest loser came out and it was this huge show about how, how to win if you lost the most weight. Well, if you go ahead and do some Google research, you'll find that that show has been canceled and it's been canceled by the contestants. Why? Because the majority of them have gained the weight back and if not more. Why? The biggest reason was because their metabolisms became slowed down as they were focusing on just the calories, burning calories through cardio and eating as little calories as possible. They weren't thinking about speeding their metabolism up. Okay. So that's the biggest focus here today is focusing on the metabolism to help you really shape the booty and shrink the waist. Let me know if that helped. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, in order to ask your question that maybe you have for me today, I want you to go into the private Facebook group. And I want you to send a message in the group and just say, I've got a question. And we are here to help and support you. If you're con concerned or confused or trying to figure it out, we're here to help. That's the type of community you're a part of. So thanks for jumping on today. And let's reconnect. You've got this. You can reach your goals absolutely no matter your age, your level, your fitness level. And to get one step closer to your goals, continue to keep listening into the podcast as we're going to give you those nice, good insights to help you along your way. Lots of love. Awesome. 
Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells. Well, you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts.